YouTubers? Yeah. No. Well, I'm going to tell you. The only sign of spring around Bay Roberts is this. Oh, <laughs> that's spring <pretty> there. <laughs> it's not nice out. No, that isn't. I turn off that furnace. It's already started this early. Oh, man. No wind yet, but it's coming. Yeah, that's not good. So because of our beautiful roads, this gentleman has spring broke off on this side. I prefer like to replace two at the same time, but he just wants to replace the one. And we got some brake work to do in the back because they're pretty well non-existent. <laughs> it's been a week of that. Yeah, it's been a week of that. You get runs of that. Yeah, you like do. Like month not see me. Yeah, then we maybe. just had a guy drop off this over here, which some, some kind of Honda muffler or something. But oh, what do I do? Yeah, dude, don't it? Did it arrive like that? No, I don't know. He said he bought it, and I don't know. He said he but he bought it. it. Was on it when he bought it. It was a. It's a. Uh, what did he say it was? It was a log splitter, I believe. Oh yeah, that was on. So he yeah. couldn't really explain to me what caused it, or. Oh. So anyway, that's what. Uh, that's another job to do. Yeah. Yeah, we have uh, some major snow. Just go out and show them at the window. We don't know yet exactly how much it's going to hit, but it seems like it's kind of starting early. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And there's going to be uh, what? Uh, this is going to continue on until Saturday, and then Sunday starts again. Yeah, we're going with snow, freezing rain, rain, snow again. Yeah. Back and forth. So I'm going to get back at this and see if I can get this done for the, the guy. I'll come back and show you a little bit more after. Okay guys, you got to put up with me for a few frames because Kathy had to go do some errands before the storm got in full force. Anyway, it's been a bit of a battle, but we're getting it apart. Um, the outer sway bar link was a bit of a chore because Everything rusts pretty bad here in Newfoundland, so if you heat it up too much here, you end up damaging the uh, bushings inside here, so essentially you end up ruining the link. So what I use for that is I come over here and I'll show you, and I use this mini inductor. And as you can see, I just heat it up, just heat up the nut, and uh, make a long story short, I get the nut off, and the heat don't dissipate back into the the outer sway bar linkage. So in other words, it protects the bushing. The heat is just basically uh, concentrated right here on the nut. Of course, the other problem that I ran into then was getting the nut or the bolt out through here, which is this one right there. So you can, you can just see how rusty these things get. So to make a long story short, I got it out, and of course, then of course, the other problem was was getting this uh, knuckle down over the strut. Then I got it halfway out; it wouldn't come down any further because the CV shaft wasn't allowed to drop. So then I had to take this bolt out to pull the CV joint back a bit, and guess what? Yeah, that's right, the, nut, the bolt wouldn't come out. So then, I had to come over and use this big boy, a three-quarter impact gun, to get the bolt out. So, there it is. There it is, and it can't be no tizzer. So anyway, it's, it's, it's pretty well ready to come down. Just let three bolts go up top before I go much further. Uh, somebody asked me about these things here this week and basically they hold your impact gun like that and your sockets and I pretty well got them on each side and you can see it there so Somebody asked me if that was my design. No, folks, I had nothing to do with that. 
That was a bunch of, uh, they had a bunch of them at Prince's Auto one time and they had a special on, I think it was a clearance sale. I think they had them on like for, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna say between 10 and $15. Came with the magnets and all. And I just thought they were fantastic. So it's, uh, it's a great value, you know, when you pick stuff up like that for that kind of money. And it's so convenient, as you can see. It's well used. So I'm going to continue on now as if I was normal. And I'm going to take that strut off and I'm going to go get the strut compressor and then we're going to uh, take it apart. Hey. Bring it out. You're back. I'm back. It slapped off a little bit. Eh? It did, yeah. The roads aren't bad either. The roads yeah. are just wet. Yeah. Maybe it'll miss us. Maybe. Hopefully. Or recommends replacing the bearing yeah. when you're and of course that's that's good advice that's what me thinks anyway sounds good to me that's a safe machine isn't it that's a very safe machine yeah somebody said to me one time hey you won't do enough struts to pay for that one is enough and I said to him paid for itself on the uh, first shot, right. first spring. He said, well, how do you figure that? I said, well, it didn't come out and half kill me, did it? That's right. So. It happens. Yeah. So, we have to uh, get the other spring. And you must make sure that they're the same color. Yeah. And uh, perhaps what I'll do is I'll we need to do this up first and then we'll come back and show the installation. I always tell you if your bearing is good by turning it. This yeah. one's good. A little smoothly? Yeah. But I'm going to put it on anyway because we got it. It's about 30 bucks. Yeah. So. I think that's the safest, the safest bet there, eh? Oh, that's right. what the insides look like. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Don't want to lose all those ball bearings. No. Is that the truth? That is the truth. Yeah, what happened? I'm going to go clean this up. It really helps to clean it up, doesn't it? Oh yes. They say cleanliness is next to godliness, isn't it? That's right. Hey, man. Alrighty, what do you think? Well, I don't know what to think. <laughs> 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 Boys, we won't show them. But to the left of Kathy is the man that gave me my start at this business. That's right. Do you know what? No, yeah, don't, <laughs> just don't swear. <laughs> now, that's going to be tough. <laughs> And not only did he not only did he hire me when he owned the dealership, but he taught me every curse word in the English language. <laughs> he can't talk unless he's allowed to swear. So he's well, it can't work to. because can't I'll, work. I'll have two hours editing it all out. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so he's, he's in. So yeah. It's got to be pressed back down now, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. It got to be pressed back down. They're kind of, it's kind of loose. Mm -hmm. It's all alive until you get it figured out, right? That's right. I got a wife like that. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta get on the, 
That no. can have its advantages and disadvantages. It's a good thing I'm not holding that camera. Yeah. Because you know, you'd be on it. Now he knows he can trust me. He can trust be you. No. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. What are we again? Hmm? Yeah. Is that new? Well, a couple of years old now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just tell him. Struck tamer. Just saying. Somebody said to me one day, they said, well, you'll never do enough struts to pay for it. But it pays for itself the first shot because it doesn't come up and beat the face off you. <laughs> right. You know? Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Because the best you can hope for then is dying, right? You know. Uh, yeah, you're in pretty bad shape. Yeah, you're in pretty bad shape. Yeah. Now. Just go up here then, Charles. Do the job, yeah. Where's the nut? Your that? head. You need a whole new head. What did I do with the nut? Go. Not the one sitting down to the right end, to the left end. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's just a good thing never had teeth. Yeah, you bit us. Yeah. We're not worried about you. The Volkswagen. Yeah, you had a spring cracked off. What was that? Uh, I'll tell you now. Okay, off camera. That's all right. I don't need any help. <laughs> don't rush up here. <laughs> We're not going near that thing. No. <laughs> that's beyond our pay. Yeah, yeah that's right. You're not paying us enough, are you? No. We gonna get our snow today? Don't know what. I don't think we're going to very much. I hope so. I hope I hope you're exactly right. I had nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Beep! <laughs> I'll use that word one day. I'll use that one. Up. That, now, That's I good. came out and I said I'm having a, an messy day, right? Yeah. Man, I don't right. tell you why. <laughs> I thought they were going to hunt me down and shoot me. This one. Oh, yeah. And I mean, like, that word to us. That's like saying marmalade, isn't it? Yeah, it's a describes Same thing. <laughs> He's doing that on purpose. Turn that off. I don't know if I should just let it stay on there. <laughs> get in now, Fred. Get in, get in, get in. There, give me that. There you go. That's what you get now for swearing. There you go. <laughs> Be nice. This is my nice. Oh, well, it needs work. I don't it? think I need any work, though I did. <laughs> don't answer that. You wouldn't evolve, would you? <laughs> yeah. It makes it a lot simpler, though, don't it? Yeah, it does. Amazing. Right? Yeah. Not good stuff, buddy, when that thing lets go. You're in for a lot of hurting if you survive. Yeah. Yeah. Laid up for a long time. Yeah. Should have time. <laughs> we we're blown up tire up in Larry. Oh, yes, sure. Beat him up, and then drove right to the ceiling. Imagine. Went oh, right to the ceiling. He did. What? Broke oh, <laughs> every, every bone in his hand. His hand was in bad shape, though. Oh, for yeah. Broke yeah. every bone. Imagine. Every bone was in his hand. Bro. Yeah. He went right some. to the ceiling. Yeah. You can get some. Uh, so I'm beating up. So that's how you change it, folks. Dear Tiz and Camp and Tizzer. Well, that was challenging, that job. Yeah, well, just rust, do you? Rust, and then you found another problem yeah. and you had to fix that. Yeah. Well, I'm looking around and I, you start off doing this the next time you're in by a CV boot because you see the CV boot is starting to leak around the clamp and then the next thing you got to haul the you gotta haul the CD shaft out, but in most vehicles you just take a bar and you push it behind the shaft and shove it out. But no, with this, you got these 12 sided sockets. And yeah. six bolts, and that had to be yeah. removed. And it's never it's never straightforward, eh? No, it's not. Customer never sees it, but I'm in that area, I'm a half hour from doing it perfect. Yep. Saving them trouble and okay. saving them a lot of labor. Yeah, big time. So it's done now. He never asked for it, but yeah, you can't ignore it. You found something. But he's a good guy. He's been working for him a long time. So another long time customer. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. So you know, put 
step back to get it and get into doing the rear end, the brakes. Do the front end of the brakes next, yeah. Oh my goodness, Ted, you chased him around with the camera. Yeah, but I told him not to swear. Yeah, you did. I, I think he did that on purpose. Oh, well, he's, he's always, see folks. <laughs> Just to get at you. Me and Ted and I have been friends a long time. I started off working for him. Oh, yeah. Like 25 or 25, oh, maybe, maybe longer than 25 years ago. Gosh, yes, we're, we're here ourselves, so sure. Yeah. 22, 23 years. Yeah, well, about 25 years ago. Yeah. And anyway, it's kind of funny because I started off working for him doing all the electronic repairs. Yes. Right? And then the next thing, they didn't have anybody to do automatic transmissions, so I went and did all the automatic transmissions. Then I had come from a Honda power equipment shop, so I was doing all his generators and all his quads and his boats and his oh, yeah. sea, skidoos and sea doos and so you know, it became kind of valuable to him. So he eventually sold the dealership. Then I went service manager for the new people. And then I didn't like the job, so I quit. And of course, we started this. But then, Ted is pretty well in the loop with everybody. So we ended up, or I ended up doing work for a airline company uh, up north. And uh, Ted used to come along to supervise. So we'd get, we'd jump aboard the plane, fly up, and uh, I'd go into this rental shop and I'd order up welding machines and I'd order up toolboxes and all that and we put it in the aircraft hangar and we do all the ground equipment. Now when I say we, Ted's job was to sit on a 45 gallon drum and talk. <laughs> he was kind of looking over the, the whole job. And I said to him one literally. time, I said, huh? Literally. Literally, yeah. And I said to him one time, I said, you know, when I work for you, you would come out and watch me all day long. So I said, now I'm on my own and you still watch me all day long. <laughs> true. But what, what used to drive him crazy was I used to, they used to ask me to fly up. And I'd fly up and they'd say, there's a week's work here. Can you get it all done in a week? But see, I had to come back to this because we had customers here and I was doing it all alone. So what I do is I go up and I work 16, 18, sometimes 19 hours a day. Yeah. <laughs> that way I could do it all in three days. Right. See? Now I remember one time Ted was sitting on this 45 gallon drum and it was about one o'clock in the morning and he said, can we go back to the hotel? Yeah. And I said, we can't, because I said, I got about another hour. I said, I got a goal. See, when I'm working, I always got goals, as you yeah, know. That's right. And that's it don't complete. matter. I got to meet those goals. It don't matter. And he said, oh, come on. He said, man, he said, what time did we start here? I said, six o'clock yesterday morning. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, well, I'm here and I'm doing beep to beep all. He says, and I'm tired. Yeah, right. <laughs> I said, well, you're going to be so tired when I'm up mm -hmm. But being very him. It's a lot worse doing nothing than it is actually working. Yeah. Because time flies when you're working. Right? Yeah. But we go back a long ways, and we've had a lot of fun, a lot of laughs, and, and I'm going to tell you a lot of history. Right. You know, it, uh, it it always hasn't been smooth, but such is life. But everything. But you know, the sign of a true friendship is a friendship that you have with people. It don't necessarily mean you're going to get along with them 24/7 all your life. But the true strength of a friendship is when you do have an argument and you separate for a little while and then you finally come back together. That's true friends. That's that's the strength of a friendship. Good point. Anyway, that's enough about Ted. Oh yeah, I got you. Uh, I got you started. <laughs> he swore, but I got him back. He did. Yeah, and he was sitting on that stool and he was smiling from ear to ear, oh, swearing. Oh yeah. Right. And I grabbed the camera from you and see it taken off. He was like a cat running across the road. Oh, yeah. Anyway, if you ever run into a situation where you can't get the arms off of these vehicles, you can use yeah, that. Kind of well, that, that's, that's for, uh, you take the nut off and, mm -hmm. and it's for lifting off the arm. Now, if that don't work, yeah, a, good, a good old yeah. turnoff is a battery terminal. Oh, yeah, that works. Puller. Which we had to use. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. So just just another little, just another little tip. 
don't forget to put the clothes back on. Hey, remember we lost one of them off our van? Yeah. How much was it? Seventeen or nineteen dollars? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Twenty bucks. Yeah. Super cool. Cool. There. Can you flick off that furnace for me, please? Like sneaking up on a fella? <laughs> I didn't even know you were around. <laughs> we're around. I think you're more oblong than you are around. <laughs> <laughs> you're too funny. I remember when I worked at the dealership, we had this private phone because I used to do all the IT stuff, see, and, and the equipment and stuff. I'm, oh, uh, yes, yeah, that big old monstrosity yeah, computer thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was called a T5 at the time, and it was like a central thing. It was hooked up to direct with GM and communicate back and forth with technical assistance and all of that. So anyway, a few of the guys realized that I had my own private phone, so they used to have their wives call the phone looking for them, right? Yeah, that's right. And I remember this missus, she, she had this real newfie accent, right? And she pick, pick up, the, I, the phone would ring, and I'd pick it up, and I'd say, hello? And she'd say, Cyril Round? <laughs> I'd say, excuse me, is Cyril Round? I'd say, no, I believe Cyril's more oblong. I'm looking at him there now, he's more oblong than he is round. Yeah. <laughs> she wouldn't be happy. <laughs> you know, that's, that's all you needed to know. I have a terrible pet peeve here, huh? Well, you see that? Yes, I see that. Now, some stupid engineer came up with that stupid design. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, I'll tell you what's wrong with it, okay? When you get down to there, you can no longer use this. Because just look. Oh yeah. Well, I mean that's the whole point of it, isn't it? He, he no, he's a smart engineer. He wants you to throw it at us. Listen, I'm going to tell one. you something. Don't go instigating and racket here, because it'll be a fight right online. How I'm serious. This, this is stupid. This is just yeah, plain friggin' get stupid. In there. You know, like Permatex, get your arse in, in, in gear and fix that for God's sake. Look at it. Should be ashamed of yourselves. Call yourselves educated people. Go to school, learn engineering. Can't make a dipstick long enough. Ooh. God Almighty! <laughs> no, but I mean, come on, you know. But really, you should have it right to the bottom. Oh, it's so stupid. Yeah. Not that I'm upset or anything. I uh, know I didn't detect. You couldn't that at detect all. that, eh? No. No. Was nothing around my tone or. Anything like no, that, was it? No, no, no. no. It's all good. Like, only for the fact that I mentioned it, you'd have I never known have there was a problem. No. I know that. That's something about that, isn't it? Yeah, true. Now, here's another thing. A little, a little gripe. Not a gripe. A gripe. Well, I think that you I had. seem to get more of a gripe when the camera's on. I think it's Well, see, uh, you brings out the worst in me because everything was right. I know, quiet. you were quiet and calm. And do you know the only reason why you came out here? Because you wanted to see if I was actually doing something. Hmm. You thought I was out here and probably dozed off. See? Oh, out know. here having a little a little afternoon cat nap, so to speak. So you sat down. Yeah, and said, you looked in the camera and said, oh my God, he just sat down, I better get out. What I'll look into yeah. this. Yeah, I better put on my shoes, he's in quote, and see what he's at. <laughs> hey? Yeah. Not much off, am I? See, everything's all sandblasted now, eh? But just yeah. look. I'm looking. Folks, believe it or not, here in Newfoundland, the government, it says that vehicles don't need vehicle inspections. No, they do So not. once you buy a new vehicle, if you keep it for 25 years, you never, ever, ever have to get it inspected. No, okay. only when it changes ownership. Only when it changes ownership. Say if I sold our car to Joe across the road, Joe would need a vehicle inspection. That's right. Okay? Which I could give him, which as far as I'm concerned is a conflict of interest. But anyway, that's a, we'll, we'll talk about that on another date. <laughs> but here's the situation. This car came in yesterday for a broken spring. Yep. And I just took a little look around and said, it's been a long time since the rear brakes worked on this car. Now, this is what I just took off the car. And this is what's going 
on the car. Okay, let me go, to, go down more. There you go. You, you can't move your wrist up? Well, like, I can. But boy, I'm going to tell you, you're not going to be considered overworked, are you? I want a background image and not the background of your face. When you go way up, that's where I'm <laughs> too. <laughs> I have a reason for doing this. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, because you're too lazy to lift no, the camera. Not too lazy. <laughs> that's what it is. No. It is, I'm telling you, like, I know. No, you don't know. <laughs> now, just look at the rotor. I'm afraid to look. I don't, I don't even know if I should look. Well, you're probably afraid to walk because that's going to take a little bit of energy. I'm scared, I'm telling you. And now, folks, we're carrying on because we've been bashed. Yeah, about been bashed for this. Yeah, we even had one guy said he was a marriage counselor. I said, yeah, that's right. I think I'd, we got into that before. Yeah, we're not going to last. <laughs> well, no. we, maybe we won't because we've been only, what, together 37 years? Yeah. yeah. Right. Two of them happily. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But that's Look. right, if someone don't know you, they, they take it that way. Yes, I'm looking. Isn't that something? It is. Now that's what came off of that car. Yeah. When was the last time the brakes worked on that? I don't know what time. Well, I can tell you. It's been a long, long time. It's been a while? It's been a while. So, I managed to free up the pistons, of course. Of course, what happens with these things is once the brake pad wears out almost to the, to the steels, Yeah then you got a tendency to have a seized caliper, but I saved at least the one on this side. And of course, you got a love Volkswagen, because yeah. they got the 12 point yeah. sockets. Yeah. That's right, gotta love them. Oh my gosh, mm. oh my gosh. But anyway, I guess you're gonna need a break time now, because you've been holding that camera now for about, I'd say three minutes. So you might as well go take your break now, I can go back to work. <laughs> You are hilarious, I'm telling you. I'm a saint. You know, someone came in and said that to me one day. They're not far off. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. I'm a saint, I'm telling you. They when said, I, I die, when I die, St. Pete is going to say, Oh my gosh, you're finally here, you poor bugger. Sail in. We took the gates down off the hinges for you. No, you got it all wrong. That's going to work for me that way. Oh, I don't think so. No, no. They're gonna, they're gonna give you a big camera to lug around. <laughs> Just to get you back. Can we go home? No, I'm glad this day is over. Me too. Uh, it was 25 to 6. 5.30. I came out here 8 o'clock this morning and I took 20 minutes today. For dinner. For dinner. Man. And then, so, non-stop ever since. Well, place is non-stop all afternoon. Another customer just left. Well, that's... Well, we got the Volkswagen done. Well, he came and picked that up, delighted. Yes. And uh, then I brought this in, because we had to put a caliper on it, and remember front, we, we fixed the front. Fixed the light, yeah. The light and everything's light done. Back. Yeah. So while this was on the ramp, drying off, I was welding that cast iron muffler thing, right? That's right. And then he just left with that. And he's tickled that, and he's building a big trailer. Yeah. Well, I'm building a big trailer. We're building a big trailer. He's, been, he's buying all the stuff and he said, I want you to do it. You so, weld it. That's another job. He said so, he could buy a trailer, but it won't be as good as you'd be able to do it and weld it. That's no, nice. That was nice, yeah. yeah. Now, that's, his brother was the one that owned the aluminum trailer we fixed right. up, right? That's right. So that was kind of nice. Nice vote of confidence there. Um, we haven't had much regards to weather today. No, no. But now they're saying tonight we're supposed to have 30 to 40 millimeters of rain and then tomorrow it's supposed to change over to heavy snow. Now I don't know what that means. It, it could mean we're going to get a lot of snow and it could mean it's all a bluff because it's not even windy out there. No, let's hope we don't get the wind. Oh man, I'd rather, I don't mind the snow, it's the wind I don't like. Exactly. So anyway, here's a little video. You got this mm -hmm. chance to see a cameo appearance by my friend and my friend Ted. Yes, you did. Yeah, and uh, of course he's all upset now because I got him on camera, and I'm all upset because he because he cursed. <laughs> so we're even. Yeah, and you have some editing to do now. Yeah, I got a little bit of bleeping to do. Do you have a bleep button? Well, I'll make a bleep button. I'll yeah. put a moo a ca moo moo cow or something in there, in its place. Yeah, or a crow or something yeah, like that. Yeah, crow. Yeah, and a crow usually works good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we had one before, but someone thought, someone we thought it was an actual crow in the office. He said, no, he thought your chair was squeaking. Oh, that's right, too. Yeah, he said, Paul, I can hardly hear you. He said, that office chair is squeaking yeah. so much. Somebody was swearing. And oh. you beeped it out with a yeah. crow sound. Yeah, that's right, yeah. 
But then yeah, he, he thought it was the chair. Then the viewer thought your chair was squeaking. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah, wow. only one thought that, though. The rest knew it was a crow. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the crow was to do a beep. Yeah. So that's it. So if we get the snow tomorrow, we'll do another video. If we don't get the snow tomorrow, that might be it for the, for the week. Because I don't think I'm going to do any more videos. I'm all video late. Well, you, one thing about not getting the snow, you'll get to stay calmer. <laughs> No ranting and raving. Well, last night I got to tell the cost. I got the customers. I got to tell the viewers this: that 24-minute video that we did last, we we launched last night of me yeah. down in the back with yeah. the snow bucket. Oh, yeah. Took two and a half hours to edit <laughs> because yeah. if you were watching the video, you, you would have heard me say, "GoPro cut out." Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. So that's that fooled up the sync synchronization of mm -hmm. the voice. Yeah. So every time I went into multi camera, when wrong. the camera came on me, it was like an old Bruce Lee movie where the metal was moving and no sound. <laughs> and then there was a sound and the metal wasn't moving. And I could get it just about perfect. But then I used to see the lips moving a little bit and no sound. And that aggravated the daylights out of me. But I finally got it right. But it took two yeah. and a half hours. It didn't beat you. You were determined. I would have stayed at that all night. I said, what are you doing? Are you still at that? Two and a half hours for a 24 minute video. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> yeah, so it's not, as, it's not as easy as it appears. So try not to be so hard on us. Yeah. <laughs> And then I just looked and we got what 5,000 views and 9 or 10 thumbs down. So I wish I knew what the thumbs down yeah, was. I was going to say, don't be so hard on our grammar and our spelling and all that little Oh, things. we've been picked on all week. Well, we had, had a hard week. I had two words joined together in the closing statement and the closing yeah, another credits. One another one was a misspelling. And, and then another you one said, something I, wrong. I should be using better grammar when I'm talking to you. Listen, I'm going to tell you something, folks. If we had to talk like true Newfoundlanders on these videos, we'd need to have captions. <laughs> but, sure. Because if you get a couple of good Newfoundlanders in here, along with myself, you probably wouldn't understand three words. Yeah, that's right. So I'm just saying, go easy on us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have fun. We got, we got great we viewers. We have fun. We got great viewers. So, folks, and don't forget this to uh, subscribe, because I'm going to tell you, if the subscribers are going... Pretty yeah, good. Yeah, right? yeah. You know, so. Uh, Fabulous. Do you want to sing now while uh, I'll conduct? And you can sing, uh, well, I don't know, whatever you want to sing. You know? We're not doing any singing. We're going home I gotta, now to get some supper, and you're going to be saying bye bye, Serenara. I got a George Michael song. Poor guy, they just buried him yesterday or the day before yesterday. If anybody likes George Michael or, or his music, like I, mean, I, I have such a vast range of musical yeah, likes, right? But he sang this song called A Different Corner. Oh, fabulous song. And I can't get the friggin' song out of my mind. No. Like, I mean, it just constantly in my mind, oh, right? What a voice. And it, he though. wrote oh. it when he was 19 years I old. I know, the poetry you is know? amazing. So here we go, huh? Huh? Folks, I gotta go see if I can get her to sing. We'll see you in the next video. You guys take care. God bless.